Baby Cake's a new video. Oh my god, right, this is from, uh... I can't even tell you who this is from, I didn't even look at the artist. I mean, the author or whatever, it's MPO Ownage, I think? Yep, MPO Ownage, there you go, babes. This is level 49, Slayer, I believe. And a good rush technique, actually, he did it right right there, but he backed down from rushing. I don't know why he did that, but he secured rockets right now, which is good. Um, but generally, you want to keep rushing for that overshield. He probably could have got that overshield, but he was a bit too shy on the rush, and he ended up dying because of it, so... Sucks to be him, I suppose. Um, fails to jump right there, but you can actually slide up there if you just jump up and crouch, if you didn't know that, but you know... A lot of people say, oh, I know that, but you know, this is for players who don't actually know. You know, just, I'll, I'll preach it to all of the audience here. And, um, let me just put this microphone around my neck real quick. That's not what she said. Um, but that was, that was a really nice getaway. And, why is... Yeah, feedback, fuck off. Um, that's for the iPhone, fuck my life. Um, okay, so he's sitting top base right here, and... Top base is one of the best places to sit, it's one of the most annoying places to sit actually because the other team can't push over to your side if you're sitting top base. So, and that's one of the things that you really want to keep off, uh, you really want to bear in mind when you're playing sandbox team slayer at a high level is that if somebody pushes to your side and they get on top of your base, you will be spawn trapped. And you will never spawn on the base you will spawn left right and to the back of the base and you are always visible off spawn so you always want to keep them off of your base a good rush technique technique if you can use it and like utilize it quite well is to get on their side like right now he's playing quite passive which is good he's laying down shots on the team he's not dying and he's helping out people with kills so he's just playing support right now but later on in the game you'll see that he actually pushes up to where the overshield is and still puts shots on people as you can see, look, there's a guy um, bottom overshield right now. So it looks like that guy bottom overshield is actually trying to flank the team. And he's down there, so he fires a, a rocket. Uh, pretty shit rocket, but... Well, it was untimed rocket anyway, but... Yeah, he could have been a little bit quicker on that rocket, and uh, he probably would have actually got him. But, again, just laying down shots cross map, which is quite good. One thing that you will uh, come across in this playing this role top base is that you will run out of ammo so fast and there is a BR spawn to the left just as you see to his left right now there's a BR spawn there and there's a carbine spawn to the right side so you do have enough ammo to hold down this position for a, a good amount of time and uh, help teammates out with kills I don't know what this hunter guy is doing he really failed on the bubble shield right there okay that was a little bit too aggressive um, for the ammo right there, for the rockets. It was a careless decision because they had a warthog up. Um, he didn't really need that. I don't know why he's dropping down right here. It's actually a kind of really bad decision, but that guy's really bad. Wow. He, um, he got quite lucky right there. Um, but like I said, dropping down really wasn't the best idea. But, you know, he pulled it off. If he didn't, then I'd be saying, well, it's a really fucking bad idea. It was a really fucking bad idea, but he did manage to pull it off. So they picked up the overshield at 8.37. That means he's going to be back at 5.37, so keep your eyes on the clock. Um, right where he's sitting right now is a good spot. You can get a good a good look at uh, uh, top base and the left spawn, but he'd be pretty... Sh he will get shit on if uh, they spawn to the right, but I don't know how this guy, I think this guy spawned like overshield or something like that. Oh no, there's a guy top of their base, so they need to get this guy off the top of their base. And I think that warthog gunner just did it, I'm not too sure. Well they're up 16 to 11 right now, and it looks like the warthog is just going back and forth between the top base, so he, they, he doesn't have to really worry about that now. Quite a nice rocket right there just reloading and right choppers coming um, one thing that really does shit on you in this game or in this map exactly cat wow nice rocket bro um, is the choppers the choppers will shit on anything that moves um, one tactic that I've seen in high level team slayer quite a lot on this map is people will take the choppers and they will sit out like out of bounds like not out of bounds but like on the sand hills if you know what I mean and they will just lay it down continuous shots and your BR shots probably won't register 
Right there, he got glitched from his equipment, so when he dies, he's gonna drop a grav lift. That means he can't pick up any more. Um, he can't pick up any more equipment because he apparently the game says he still has a grav lift on him, but he doesn't. So that's just one thing Bungie needs to fix right there. Um, there was no reason to jump up and down right there. You're just making a red dot on the map, but whatever makes him happy, I guess. That warthog looks like it's going to die because it's going to go out of bounds. I don't know if that's if that warthog is still up or not. I think it is. Really nice rocket right there. Just another assist for him. It looks like he's playing quite passive right now. Just waiting to see. Right there, one bad thing he did was... Uh, please don't tell me you're going to get away. Right, okay. Um... One thing he probably could have done better right there is wait there because he knew there was a guy to his right. He was just a bit greedy for the kill on Hunter, but he's back and he's gonna pick up his rockets again, I suppose. But in a game close like this, you really can't afford to make greedy kills like that and trade them. It's a good idea to just lay down shots like he's doing now. And I have my Xbox right here actually, so I can tell you how many assists he gets. He gets uh, 14 assists, so <clears throat> just watch how he plays. Right here, pushing J Grills is a very good idea here because it's a two on one situation, so the team shot was really nice. And like I said, the chopper in this map shits on anything that moves, but they did a good decision to, well, not a good decision, they did a good play to. Uh, Basically, just get the chopper down and uh, just control their spawns at the moment. It looks like they're doing right here, guys. Sorry, fail recording. Um, I really don't know how to uh, like get the rectacle up for the chopper. Now, I did press YY, but it didn't work for some reason. Like, I eventually get it. I don't know how I do it, but I eventually get it. So just bear with me. I'm like, how the fuck do you work this thing? I'm like, YY again, maybe. So I'm like, yeah, let's try a YY again, and then... Oh, I got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, there we go. Right, so there's your rectical. Now, a lot of people will bash... That was a dumb decision. Um, a lot of people will bash um, vehicles. Um, but in my attitude towards it is I hate vehicles too. And I do think, like... That was a lucky stick. But I do think in this game... Uh, in some maps, it's just vehicle dominant. Very much like Standoff, very much like Valhalla, very much like Sandbox. These maps, these big open maps with vehicles, they are vehicle dominant. And my only advice for you guys is to either do either one, destroy their vehicle and destroy your vehicle, which is a bit of a dumb decision. I seem this is taking advantage, but. Um, if you want to keep it to BRs only, make sure that you have fucking something that will take out, something that's anti-vehicle always, you always need that, i.e. rockets, which uh, MPO has right now, um, a missile pod, laser, anything like that, because I cannot stress enough how pissed off you will be if a warthog is controlling your spawns and shitting on you off of, off of the spawn, because Bungie, we all know Bungie is horrible with spawns, completely fucking horrible with spawns. Now. One thing I'm going to say is, if it's a vehicle dominant map, get in a vehicle. Try and get vehicle dominance because it will make your job so much easier and it's almost a guaranteed win. If you're in, if you're in a warthog going around controlling spawns, shitting on them off of their spawn, what can they do about it? They can't four shot you off the turret in the amount of time that they can just basically gun you down. So. Just, it's just my advice to just control vehicles on a vehicle dominated map but overall guys that's it that's all we have time for gonna end the film right there um, I'd like to hear your comments on what you think of vehicle dominated maps like do you veto them or do you like are you pretty confident that you can get vehicle control or do you just stay with your BR and like lay down shots tell me in the comments section below hope you enjoyed this video and I love you mildly that's all I can say